Okay. Um, where we left off in the last session, uh, the weir tiger that has possessed Percy had discovered that uh, the shadow bow had trapped him, and he uh, leapt into one of the portals. But you don't know which portal it is. Well, you know which portal it is. You just don't know where the portal goes. So you've got to decide now what you're going to do. Follow Percy. I'm going after my fellow ranger. Absolutely. Is everybody going to run and leap into the portal with him? Hell yeah. Let's hold hands. I'll hold hands and (laughs) run together. In slow motion as we leap into the portal. It was a rabbit not that long ago, if I remember Um, correctly. Right? The guy's nothing but trouble. He climbed into a rabbit and became the rabbit. He put on the mask. Now, to be fair, the only reason he put that mask on was because he rolled two ones in a row. Right? The worst freaking roll. An epic, an epic, you know, disaster roll. Bad roll of the decade. So as you (laughs) leap through the portal... Let's find out where you go. You find yourselves... Cold. ...at the top of a pinnacle that's above this giant, icy, icy plain. And uh, I think I've got one other image to show you. I guess... That would mean that our map would change. No, whenever I sneeze in my room, Larry, like, if he's fast asleep, if I sneeze, he'll jump up and bolt from the room. He hates sneezing. Like, he thinks I'm yelling at him. So, uh... As you land on the top of the portal, yeah, you're all standing around this <coughs> pinnacle on the top of the portal. Take, uh, oh, Everyone is your you. uh, what happened to your dinosaur? Does he uh, dissolve after, after a minute? After yeah, a minute he yeah. he gets. De-summed. And if it were to follow through the portal, it would do. It would dissolve anyways. Okay, so as you're all around the portal, um, as you get to this point. You find the Weir Tiger uh, also here, but it is laying down and it is unconscious. How do we extract our friend from the Weir Tiger? Well, at this time, as soon as this tiger has uh, made its leap through the portal, Percy, who's been following along, uh, as a passenger looking through the eyes of the mask and hearing the tiger's thoughts, sees images of the tiger's memories about Arwan, the shadow, the shadow Lord. And he sees memories just play across in front of him as though it's on a big screen. And uh, one of those memories is actually uh, the weir tiger facing Arwan and making some kind of wager or agreement with him. And uh, Percy can't understand exactly everything that goes on uh, with the sounds. He can't hear exactly what's going on. But uh, he, he, one of the things that he gleans, one of the bits of information that he gleans at this point, is that the weird tiger's name is Shirkala. Because that's what R1 addresses the weird tiger as. S-H-I-R-K-H-A-L-A, Shirkala. All you see from the top of that pinnacle, as far as the eye can see in all directions, is nothing but endless icy plain. This pinnacle rises up on this flat, endless, icy, featureless plain that goes in all directions. It's cold, freezing cold. It's windy. It's icy. Uh, it It... It's one of the most utterly deserted places you've seen in the world. Okay. Nothing oh. that you can see. You can't even see anything moving out on the out wherever you are. Now, as all of this has happened, Percy now finds that after the transition through the portal, he is no longer locked in the mask. Instead, 
he seems to be in some kind of strange shadowy forest and he is back in his body but he has nothing he is utterly naked in in this strange shadowy forest there is no hot there is no cold there's nothing but trees shadowy trees everywhere um and so he's no longer it does, with us it doesn't seem like it's a real place it seems like it might still be a place either in another dimension another uh or or it's even possibly a place in his own mind did he die well i'm gonna call out and see if if I, anyone can hear me hello hello can anyone hear me i'm stuck in this crazy place you need to help me escape i hello. i call out uh, and, Can you hear me? You know, I have uh, animal speak, so if there's any animal, like, we got no animals with us right now. Bear would hear me if he was around, but nobody hears me. Anybody hear me? Come, listen. As Percy calls out, uh, eventually he hears some rustling, and looking over, he sees uh, a silhouette of a giant... We're Tagger approaching him through the mists. Now, well, in this case, also, Percy is not wearing the mask anymore. Yeah. The tiger is. You need to stop and think for a moment. We could help each other. There is no need to fight. Myself or my friends, can we strike a bargain? We could help each other. The weird tower, the weird tiger, growls as he approaches you, and uh, you can just see absolute anger and hatred in his eyes. It is still holding the bow trapped in one hand. Do you as wish it, to be released, my friend? As it comes toward you. Uh, it mutters something like, stupid little R1's plaything trap me with such a, such a simple device. And it leaps forward, grows to about three times its size, clamps you in its mouth, drops on all fours, and it begins running. As it begins to run, you hear the sound far, far away of a haunting hunting horn echoing through the forest. I wish I had my, I'm going to have sound pad for this. I believe our one calls me. He has engaged me to help him in a mission. Do you not know who you're dealing with? With, uh, you in the tiger's mouth, mm -hmm. the tiger cannot even respond. It ignores what you have to say and continues running. But the problem is, is that everything seems to shift around you as it runs through this, this nowhere forest, shadow forest that it's in. And soon, soon it gets turned around and it's trapped by the shadow trees. And the horns seem to be coming from a different direction. And now you can hear the baying of the hellhounds that signal that the wild hunt is approaching. As the weir tiger Shirkala tries to escape, soon the hounds come surround, surround and trap Shirkala with you in its mouth in a little shadow grove. And following the hellhounds, as Shirkala, forgetting about you, begins to speak and you just fall out of his mouth onto the ground. Uh, Shakala looks up and calls out to the first rider that arrives behind the hellhounds and says, curse you and damn you shadow Lord for your treacherous ways. And you look up and you recognize who it is that's on the horse. It's very obviously our one. It's our one. Lord of the shadow realm. Yep. Larry. Go, go. Larry goes in. Sunny goes out. My lord, we have traveled far in your in your quest to find 
the heart of darkness and stab it. This creature has interfered. By mistake, by misfortune, I know not. Can he be of service to you or to us? Can you engage him? Can you reason with him? I do not know. R1 says, quiet now, little red feather. I have business here with the tiger. Excellent. So, Shirkala says, curse you and damn you, Shadow Lord, for your treacherous ways. And R1 laughs and says, no, Shirkala, you are the one trapped in a curse. Or did you think the mask would hide you from me forever? And I am not damned. I am master, as you well know, of both the damned and the sublimed. Shakala says, your power diminishes. Are you so in need of help that you turn to wilders as your poor pawns? And R1 gestures to Percy and says, this one? A new tool from a small set I've acquired to fight the Terran undead with their own Terran living. And you too, Shakala, shall aid me in that fight, for it is finally time that you giant join the wild hunt. And Shirkala growls in defiance, No! Narwan says, Come, I caught you fairly according to our wager, and you owe me greatly for the souls you have devoured to keep yourself immortal over these past millennia. Those were my souls by right, and thus you belong to me. So as Arwan speaks, Percy can see the memories shift, because uh, he's still connected to Shirkala's mind about the wager that we talked about and Shirkala roaming the world. Uh, many of Shirkala's memories now remain as Percy's memories as well, since their minds have connected together. Some of the things that Percy sees in those memories of Shirkala's sojourn around the world are things like stalking humans and apes in a deep African jungle, hunting wild yaks in the high mountain passes above the Mongol steppes, hiding from dragons that fly over the lush rice paddies in China, battling whirlwind jinn in the endless sands of Arabia, and ultimately being tricked by them and imprisoned in the carved mask. Shaka growls, knowing that he has lost the wager and must now obey Arwan as his master and become heart part of the wild hunt. He points down at Percy, who's still laying on the ground, and says, And what of this one and the mask curse upon me? And Arwen says, Shakali, you are freed from the mask, though it retains from you some of your former strength and power to morph. The mask, with both its curse and strength, now fall to Percy, who shall find it a painful boon. He cannot escape it, just as you could not. Although, and Sharkhan looks at, I mean, Arwan looks at Sharkala musing, your body was destroyed by the jinn when you first became trapped, but Percy's body remains intact. I think on Percy the mask will only manifest whenever he morphs and becomes weirtaker, as you did long ago. Sharkala says, but that is not the mask's purpose. I could never control it. And Arwan says, yes, Shirkala, but you were only ever Aaron and Weretagger. Unlike you, Percy is alien to this world, and he is both a wilder and shadow-touched. He can even wield bright iron. It's iron from our world. And none of them, there, nobody on Aaron can touch it, right? Without being burned. It makes really loud booms. Yes. Yeah. So Arwan says, this gives Percy several things that you never had. It may grant some measure of control to fight the domination okay. of the curse. Do you see now what handy new tools my wilders have become? Yago's legion of otherworldly soldiering dead will eventually sweep across our land if we do not fight their bright iron fire with bright iron oh, fire. Sure. And Shirkala growls and is silent, deeply troubled by the thought of facing the soldiering dead. After a long moment of quiet, Arwan says, It is time, Shirkala. I, Arwan, Lord of the Shadowlands and leader of the Wild Hunt, do hereby command you to take your place among us, serve the immortal cause of the hunt, 
And as R1 says this, the shadow bow still clinging to Shirkala's hand releases its shadowy tendrils and falls to the ground. Shirkala howls ah! and fades from view, just as an exact shadowed version of this same tiger being appears in the wild hunt, standing beside Arwan's steed. And then Arwan turns to Percy and says, Take up your bow, Red Feather. It is good to see your misfits finally being of some use. I have been patient with all of you as you troop about the Western land, seemingly going everywhere, but towards the cursed Yargo and his minions. But perhaps you are right, as you think, and you need more power and resources before you face the inevitable. Do not waste time, though. Every day the enemy's forces grow. Build your strength. Find your allies. The great battles are still to come. And with that, Arwan blows his hunting horn, wheels his shadowy steed. Oh, I have a picture. Great is your wisdom, Arwan. Thank you. As you're standing there naked with nothing but a bow. Mm, well, <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in a dream world, <laughs> world you know, so it's fine to be naked. He's got a G string. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Wah, wah, wah. That's a great picture. More of a dark so story. there is, there it is. Then, and the hunting, the the uh, wild hunt, turns and rides off into the the shadowy forest, leaving Percy alone. Oh, As Percy picks up the bow. <laughs> Uh, he begins to convulse with pain as he feels the curse of the mask once again take hold as it appears on his face and he loses consciousness. By the way, one of the other memories that you find just as things are fading away is a memory of the woman that you met in the tree. Do you guys remember the woman right. that you met when in the tree? Met tree who, I never who met a woman told in us the tree. Okay. to get the mask from yet. the Firefinger. Yeah, uh, so her that name. Was our her name. Do you have her name? Was I'll tell you. It was Akaza. 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 Her name was Akaza, and something that you learn from the memories that you have retained from Shirkala is that uh, Akaza was actually a weird tiger as well and an acolyte of Shirkala who sought to trick you into retrieving the mask for her and then her plan was to kill you and take the mask for safekeeping. She was just trying to use you uh, so to get through all those She's the one who sent us off in search of the mask. Yep. Hmm. And things have not gone that way the way she planned, obviously. Well, and he said that we're gone traipsing around randomly. The whole freaking troop of uh, of dead came to us when we were in the Frog Kingdom. And, and That's one of the places. On. A bunch of them came to us. But we chickened out because we didn't have enough humph. So we... we yeah, we're, we're not well, goofy enough. I was planting seeds. Hmm. Yeah, well, you, you ticked him off. It was great. Well, exactly. It's nice. It's, it's like the... Sparring with words. The intimidation I, thing, but I wasn't trying to make him fearful. I was trying to sit up for your mic. Sorry. Yeah, much. you were just trying to get him <clears> mad. <throat> I, no, I was trying to make him feel shame. Ah, that I don't know so whether I that was, worked. He just got well. Really I mad. I don't Is know. He's so broken and evil now that he can even feel anything. Mm -hmm. Well, exactly. But that's why I was planting seeds that take a while to grow. There we go. <sighs> now we know what Thaddeus was doing. I was useful. I turned invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Squishy Wizard. We <laughs> all have a role. If only we had had, you know, a wizard who likes to levitate people and just I know, right? levitate them all, I and all they do is hang use thaumaturgy and, and say loud voices. And yeah, yeah, that's what Greg always would do. Yeah. Okay, so as uh, all of this transpires and the rest of the Wilders have uh, found you, well, have found the tiger laying uh, beside the portal, as they watch. Within just a few moments, slowly, the shape of the weird tiger fades away and the shape of Percy, once again, is there, fully clothed with all of his Thank gear. 
<laughs> and holding in his hand the shadow bow. I have a question. Yeah. Has the mask now merged with me? The mask is not apparent. Okay, so somehow it's absorbed into me somehow. You're okay. going to have to find out and discover crap what the deal is. I'm going to randomly turn into a tiger, guys. <laughs> this may not be good. Well, that could be useful. It, it could be useful. It could also be something it crazy be and random and dangerous. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, especially if, if it happens during hey, an unkind moment. Points like when he's really just... hungry or when the moon comes yeah, out. Yeah, I don't know what the prompt is. Right? You know, I wonder what's going to happen in the days that we do find Bear because in my heart of hearts, I figure someday Bear will be there. Mm -hmm. It's going to be interesting to see how Bear responds to him and whether he gets weirded out. Well, I do have Beast speak, so I can talk to him and warn him. There's just the thought of my day. Well, I am examining the body and okay. just seeing so if he's still in pain or, or if he's back. stable. Oh, Percy, you're you find here. out that Percy has borne the wounds inflicted on the tiger by the party. Oh, no. oh dear. I suspected that was going to happen. Yeah, I know. Percy, how many health points do you, do you currently have? I have 41. No, you actually have about eight. Oh, great. Okay, I have eight hit points, guys. I need help. Yes. <laughs> um, and he is still bleeding a little bit from so a few of those wounds. Uh, one of the things you notice is that he's got quite a noticeable graze and powder charge on his uh, cheek <laughs> where uh, a gun went off and popped him one. It's okay. Well, I think it's time yeah, to get some to bandages and bind some wounds. Okay, so binding wounds gives, uh, what's that, 1d6? Or? Um, I'm just looking for how many I've got. Does anybody want anything while I'm up? Good, thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Nice best. Yes, awesome guy named Thaddeus made it. Lavinia, do you have any healing spells left? One. I can't be of use right now. No, I'm going to use my last healing spell to cast it on to Percy. Percy? Yep. Yeah. All right, everybody so we all can get, get another eight. Total of ten. Plus anything? That, nope, that that's it. It's a flat. It was no his extra stuff. Heightened plus one. That means plus one, like like it gets the extra D eight. Yeah, we stopped making bandages. I remember nope. sure for a while Dave, we were the like card setting up that shop. I just ended up drawing. Something else is important for you guys to remember about those Isn't yarrow that bandages that you have, is that it says here. Um, that you can use administer first aid to stop bleeding on a creature that's also dying. Okay, so if somebody is dying and bleeding out, you can use that to stop them. Mm -hmm. You know, from from completely dying. What's the liquid card that, she drew? And what card did Lavinia draw? And you know, uh, this is something else: courage, determination, and fearlessness. The stand look at, look with the, the tiger on with it. With the tiger on. With the tiger on it. Cool. <laughs> The stand. Now that you've got a little bit of healing, uh, you are finding it extremely, extremely cold on the top of this pinnacle. That fire from the portal gives no heat whatsoever. The wind is blowing, and what are you guys going to do? Um, I vote going back into the portal. I don't know about you guys. Where? Well, a, we, we don't guys, know. We, we don't, don't know. know. Oh, uh, uh, am I awake? To that back. golden room. Am I awake? <laughs> Percy is not awake. Okay. Oh. Okay, because if I were awake, I still have Sharkar's uh, vestigial memory of the language. You do. So I could read the symbols on the, the portals, but well, I'm not awake. How do we wake him? Oh. Well, let's get just get into the portal. We do not carry him. It's, it's too cold. Yeah. Okay, let's drag this beast of a man. 
He's like the biggest one out of all of us. I'm, I'm, it takes four of us to I'm carry man of the beast. I'm not that fat. Okay, we just chuck you into the portal and follow you. <laughs> all right, fine. Oh. Everybody, hold hands and let's jump. Whee! Okay, and so you end are. up back where you were in the Hall of Fires. And I take my my quill and I write a note on this particular portal we just came out of. Yes. And write... Um, cold Mountain. Cold Mountain Spire in the middle of an ice field. Okay. All right. And you are relieved to find that the ink that you had put on the other portal uh, that you had come from before that has remained there and it is still marked on that in the hall. Good. It has not disappeared. That's excellent. So, um, you, smart friends. I don't know. I'm an unconscious Rob, guy, but I would recommend sleep. Too far away from your mic, oh, dude. I, I would recommend sleep, guys. You're, you're unconscious. I know. You That's because I'm you're unconscious. I'm, I'm already You're sleeping. metagaming. Don't do that. I'm just, Go ahead. I'm sleeping. I just had this inner feeling that maybe we should sleep. Yeah, a rest would be good. I don't know about you guys, but I am freaking exhausted. Okay, so you guys are going to choose to take, take a the rest. I'll take the first watch. And Thaddeus has decided he's going to take first watch for how many hours, do you think? Eight, please. We, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing... I will not be You have to remember thing. that if you do not get your own eight hours yes. of rest, you will not receive any benefits the next day. You will actually yes. start to build towards exhaustion. Yes. Which is a condition. I know all about that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so I will take four hours. Okay, Thaddeus decides what? to take four hours. Well, that's, that's what they one. usually are. Three. I thought she there were four. You're the one who doesn't sleep. Well, I, I don't need to sleep as That's much. right. She only needs half of what everybody else needs. Right. One of the benefits of being a half elf. Okay, so Thaddeus takes first watch. All the rest of you conk out. Uh, you guys can all make sure on your character sheets you click the little rest button so that uh, that uh, helps you out a little bit. And um, uh, go ahead, you can roll. Let's see. And that means they get some tokens back right 11 they do everybody's going to get their tokens for a full night's rest you can pass them all out 11. nothing happens you you just find this to be an eternal otherworldly place that you're in it doesn't seem to have any sound it just seems to have this rich thick magical uh you know infused in air in in, in the halls uh, there is a little bit of dust, but surprisingly, a small amount of dust for a place that looks like nobody may have been Take there the for ones that eons. You need. Do you know which ones you need? No, those are. You take the ones. So that, who's that you doing need. the second after uh, I'll, three I'll hours? Do it four hours? Okay, so. Yeah. Rob, or that, Rob, Percy, can you drive oh. for a bit? Look at that. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. The lining just fell out of my cup. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to re-glue that one back in. I have one. That must be the one that had that problem. I rolled a 13. Okay, uh, same thing. Uh, absolutely nothing happens other than um, a couple of times Percy tosses and turns. Um, one of the things that I'm watching over home. all of you feel in this place is that with the just tremendous amount of natural etheric energy that flows between all of the portals um, it really revitalizes you especially because you're still fresh and new to this world from the world of Terra as wilders you you know it helps you heal faster it helps you re reinvigorate faster and that's what's happening here and uh, uh, even a few hours sleep is making a big difference to everybody most of all for Percy. So the end of uh, Josephine's shift, nothing has happened. Everybody has now had uh, six hours of sleep. Uh, are you going to do a third shift? So we're going to do a third shift after Josephine? I can, I'll do it. You can do it? Okay. Okay, so Lavinia spells Josephine off. Lavinia is going to roll 
her d20 to see if anything actually happens. Two. And she rolls a two. Ooh, that was a close one. Nothing happens. Oh. Just, <laughs> I was like, oh you should have, if you were here, you'd hear me go, thump a thump a thump. <laughs> one or a 20 would have had something happen, but nothing else. Okay, so uh, uh, you've now passed, you know, a full eight hours, nine hours of rest. Excellent. And, so everyone's uh, feeling great. Percy opens his eyes. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Mr. Redfeather, how nice of you to join us. I had the strangest dreams. Percy. Last night I had the strangest dreams. I had the strangest dreams. I dreamt I was captured by a tiger spirit. And the tiger spirit fought you. And we traveled to a land of shadows where we met the Shadow King again. And... My bow was instrumental in defeating the tiger. Somehow, it caused him pain, and he was surrendered to the wild hunt. And the mask which I wore, the tiger mask, has disappeared. And yet, somehow, it has not. I feel it is still with me. I would warn you, watch me carefully to make sure I do not harm you. If I did, sorry. But I, I, I can read the lettering on these pedestals. I learned the language from the tiger spirit. Shere Khan. Shere Khan, not Shere Khan. Shere Khan. Shere Khan. Sorry. Not Shaka Khan. First. <laughs> but. I could read them for you. Perhaps we can find where we need to go next. So is that what you're doing? You're going to read some of these words? I'm going to read some of these portals. And uh, Thaddeus, come with me. Make notes on which portals are which. You still have that ink. Yes, I have lots of ink and scrolls. Oh, good. You, you can note which of these portals goes where. So let's start to catalog the portals. Okay, you're going to catalog the I'm portals. Going to catalog the portals, and I'm going to get uh, I'm going to get Raven to note on the portals where they go. I'm going to talk with uh, Thaddeus about what the meaning of the words is. So we're going to discuss it, and because I'm sure it's being in a foreign language, there may be a different grammar or pronunciation or or order of, of phrases. And they would have different phrases they consider more important than others. Syntax. So syntax would be different because that's the way it is with language. Yes? So, yeah, I will discuss it with the learned man. <laughs> okay, so the first portal you go to, uh, the one that you guys came from, Yeah. Uh, just as when you could see through it in the tiger mask, uh, the name very clearly says Mistvale Marsh. This Vale Marsh, this one. When you go to the portal that uh, you'd been carried into by the Weir Tiger, yes, the name very clearly says Ice Cairn. Ice Cairn. Hmm. There's one beside it that says Frost Reach. This one says Frost Reach. The one beside that says. Harrow Fjord. Harrow Fjord, this one says. Shall we number these? I mean, Do are we guys. going clockwise, counterclockwise? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the next one uh, says Sunfire Oasis. Sunfire Oasis. Ooh. Sounds like a nice hotel. It sounds, yeah, kind of beachy. Oh. Yes. The one beside that says Celestia's Veil. Celestia's Veil. That sounds like somewhere you'd want to go. Oh, it could be <laughs> an exotic dancer. 
And there's one last portal in this room of all of the ones that are in this room of the hall. There's, like I said, three conjoined rooms of these portals. And the last one in this room, the name on it is Verdantus. Spelling? V-E-R-D-A-N-T-U-S. Verdantus. Verdantus. Mm, Verdantus. That sounds Verdantus. like some sort of truth. Truth, yes. Truth. Verdantus. Verdantus. I feel like that's the one that I want to go to. Or verdant, green. Yeah, Verdantus. Do you want to do more in the next hall? Yes, let us go to the next hall and have a look. You go into the second hall and you find one called Iron Root Citadel. Iron Root mm. Citadel. Next to it is one that's called Silver Shale. Silver Shale. There's one beside that called Thunder Plains. Thunder Plains. Thunder Plains. All we want is what's beyond the Thunder Plains. The next one you find is Sable Serpent Lake. Sable Serpent Lake. Don't want to go there. Mm. Yeah, I'll stay away from Serpent Lake. I don't know about furry sap- serpents. And then uh, another one called Shadow Gorge. Shadow Gorge. And in this particular room, <laughs> you find that there are two other portals still, but they have no flames. Ooh. Two so this is the first time you've seen uh, in the rooms with all of the different... Uh, portal fires that these portals have no flames out of them they when you go to look this just looks like there's a black charred mark Do where they the have flames names on them? it looks like the names on them are shattered whatever the runes were that were carved in are, are somehow shattered hmm. it doesn't look like anybody has attacked them or broken them it looks like whatever the magical gateway was has somehow been severed and as a result of that on this side the runes have shattered kind of like an explosion or something and uh you have one more room if you want to do just whatever fewer that are left you guys okay want to check out the other room let's yep. check out the other room <laughs> okay in this room you find the same thing again you find uh three more that are shattered you find an intact one called Lumina Cove. Ooh. I feel like I kind of want to go to Lumina Cove. It sounds warm. And like I, can I don't know. It sounds like moonlight reflecting off the water. Mm-hmm. You find another one called Whispering Pass. Whispering Pass. That's what I used to do to the other girls in the tribe. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> I'm sorry. You were subtle. I, I was very sad. You find another one called Viridian Cape. Viridian Cape. Hmm. Whispering Pass is what you do in the grocery store when you crop dusting. And you're like, sorry, other shoppers can't hold it in. Do, do, do. Crop? I don't care. Crop dusting? Crop what dusting. Is, is like, what is crop dusting? Like, Letting out little bits of farts as you... Oh like, my lord, I've learned a new term. You didn't, you've never heard the term crop dusting? Before? I have not. I mean, you're, not. Just, you're not going to like... It's oh. amazing the things not you in can learn text. in this particular If you're in public, position. it's... Uh, what are you going to do? Are you going to go... It's like... <laughs> I, I didn't know what pull my finger meant till I was 25. <laughs> Because no, I, I was, I was, you just, like, you, all like, my friends were intellectuals, nerds, time, and nobody so ever pulled anybody's finger. Find. It's amazing that all of this is being recorded. <laughs> it's <laughs> awesome. I got to be able to make highlights out of this kind of stuff. So yeah. what, is, what is number This four? is the gold. This is the stuff that sells, man. Wait, we had Viridian Cove. And what is number Viridian Cape? Viridian Cape. And number four? There was Luna. Luna yeah, that's number one. Luna Cove. Luna Whispering Cove, Pass. Whispering Pass is two. Green Cape. Green Cape. And <laughs> Cape. I don't think we got number four Whispering yet. Whispering Pass. Four. Crop, crop Duster. Crop Duster Cover. Cove. Yeah, there you Stop go. it. <laughs> that's it. That's all that's on the list. The rest of them are okay, all that broken. Give, that gives four that are broken then, that are okay. extinguished, not three. Okay. 
you find uh, these three conjoined halls, and all of them look exactly the same, right? They're all exactly, there's just three versions of exactly the same thing. But at each end, the end of, the far end of each of the two end halls, there are those two giant doors, as you see on the image that we've got on the screen behind Anybody me. want to talk to the giants? I'm not excited about the prospect of talking to giants, perhaps, personally. Perhaps Thaddeus could stealthily... You want to examine the doors, Thaddeus? Roll to I'm examine. Very happy examine with doors. Very uh, 11 plus 12. So these are gargantuan doors, 25 feet to the top of the doors. And um, as you're looking at the doors, you cannot see. You can see that they're two separate doors, and they obviously swing on on hinges, hidden hinges. But uh, there are no latches or any type of, of um, locks or any types of catches or anything else you can see. They appear to be sealed and unopenable. Hmm. I think we have a couple of choices of which the doors are not. So, what is the plan now? You are rested up. Percy has come and told you about his adventures uh, with Shirkala and what uh, he I, has yeah, learned. I was going to ask, when, um, during Percy's coma state, did he regain all of his health as well? Or no. Like the... No, I am very badly damaged. I am currently at 22 hit points. Like, did you, so you didn't get like an overnight rest? I got the sleep. I got the, the rest. Normally you wouldn't get a whole lot of extra benefit. I think you only get like, I don't know, it's a D4 or something. Yeah. But because of the place that you are in... Mm. Everybody recovers another eight hit points. Okay. Oh, dude, Yay. I'm at 100%. Right. That's not. exciting. So I'm, I'm sorry for your luck. 30 out of 56. Okay. Learning Do you guys want to take a, a five minute break? Um, sure. Five minute break. All right, Rob, go ahead and I stop the. I want to the cast a first recording. level heal on.